Today I'm going to be attempting to beat the classic dex challenge in one go. You guys can watch this and kind of like see the playstyle I have so you won't have to keep on restarting. Even if you have pass royale it's nice to just get this done in one go. So let's hop into a battle and let's see what I get in this first game. So we get spell bait. This is basically probably um, one of the classic log bait decks that has been around for a while. Um, we're going to go Gallon Barrel here and Gallon Gang back here. Um, so this guy, he probably has a minor control deck here. Um, he's going to go Mega Knight, so now we know it's going to be a bait deck. Um, hopefully this counters everything, and it does. Let's go Princess of the Bridge to keep the pressure going. Um, he's just going to snowball that, which isn't really going to kill it. It's kind of going to make him have to use more stuff. He spent 5 looks on that princess. He didn't really get anywhere either. So we go in with Golem Barrel. We do get some pretty nice damage there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and log this. Something that's going to be pretty good value. And we're going to go Goblin Gang right here in the middle. I think that's pretty good as well. Um, hopefully that Spear Goblin will get a hit. Maybe not, but yeah, it didn't get a hit on the left side. Um, we're gonna go in with Inferno Tower again. It's pretty fine right here. Um, I don't even care that that, that Ice Spirit died, the Mega Knight's gonna die anyways. And we're gonna go in with another Goblin Barrel here. Um, because I don't think he has too many answers to respond to this right now. Um, okay, we're actually gonna go Valkyrie right here. Um, yeah, so the Valkyrie's probably gonna go up. He might decide to put bats. But I'm gonna kind of predict that with the princess if he does. Now, if he goes with Inferno Dragon, which is a pretty good play. Um, I'm gonna go log that and then Goblin Gang to take out the Inferno Dragon and the bats. Pretty solid here. We have such good control of this game right now. It's not the easiest game. Um, but, alright, looks like he put a late Mega Knight here, we're gonna once again, okay, so he goes Snowball, we're gonna once again set up this Inferno Tower, I don't even care, like, there's not too many things he can do here, Valkyrie down here, even with the Miner, it's, the Mega Knight's not gonna do anything for him, we can go Golem Bear again to apply pressure and make him defend, I don't want that to get too much damage. So now we're in rocket range, we can kind of chill out. We can go Inferno Tower here. We can go Valkyrie there. It's not really going to do too much. His miner is not really going to have an effect at all. We can go Golem Bear again. Just because this tower is so low, let's see if we can finish it off here. We can't, but a nice rocket right there will do. And good game. Okay, here we're going back into the second match, and let's see. Um, I wasn't really paying attention to the screen of what showed before. It looks like I've got a uh, golem deck here. We're gonna go baby dragon in the back. I'm just gonna assume this guy has. Um, okay, he definitely has a sparky deck here. Not the best matchup for me. We're gonna take the damage on the right side. Um, I know it wasn't the best play by me, but trust me, it's going to work on the end. He sacrificed a lot of damage on that. Um, I think I'm going to have to just let that go as well. And then we're going to put a golem on the other side. Let's see how this works. We do have, um, we're going to let him take that tower too. Um, I know this kind of looks pretty bad here. But, if you just set up the Night Witch behind the Golem, we should be fine. I like an ample distance, too. We're going to completely ignore this Goblin Giant, as I said. And we're going to go in, kill this uh, Dark Prince. Like, this guy doesn't really have a defense, I think, for this. Uh, whatever he pu he's putting down just dies instantly, which is pretty good here. Um, I'm gonna keep on spamming stuff. I don't know how much longer this person is gonna work. He somehow defended that pretty well. Like, 
it wasn't a bad defense by him. And we did sacrifice a lot of damage, but we almost took his, um, like all of his towers right there. So we should be fine. Um, I don't really have a good psycho, but I, I want to go golem right here. If he puts anything, I'll go to the golem for now. Okay. Yeah, the, I can deal with this. I can deal with this golem giant here with the night witch. I'm going to ignore all of what he just did right there and keep on going in on the left side. His stuff is pretty low here. We're going to zap this before it gets a shot. And there we go. Good game. So sometimes it's going to be pretty aggressive and like sacrifice <laughs> almost all three towers like I kind of did there. Um, it was pretty risky, but I knew he wouldn't have enough elixir to defend some of my pushes. So that's why I sacrificed a bunch of damage there. Okay, for the third battle, it looks like we have Lumberloon here. I haven't used Lumberloon in quite a while, so this will kind of be a new experience for me. But I'll try to explain my plays as best as I can. We're going to see if he can make the first move, since that's um, usually a pretty good idea with Lumberloon. I'm going to go with Tombstone right here. And this placement, I actually want defend too well if he has a building targeting troop that he wants to place down right away. But for troop targeting troops, it works. That's a pretty good placement. I'm going to put Barbarians around the Royal Giant. Hopefully he'll get only one hit at most. He does go ahead and fireball that. I'm going to go ahead with Balloon right here. Um, just to kind of distract. I'm surprised that Balloon didn't do that much damage. But hopefully he gets one hit here. One hit, perfect. 100% cover leg right there. And we do have a lead here. He spends more, some skeletons, but my minions will get a couple hits here. I don't know, man. This, these games seem kind of sweaty right now. Um, and it's probably just because I'm making it because I sweat everything. Especially when I'm recording. Um, so yeah, he goes with a log there. We only spent 6 elixir. I think he spent 8. If my minion can get two hits, I'll ignore. Okay, so I'm gonna choose to ignore this fisherman. I don't think he'll get a hit. If it does, I'm surprised that heal spirit will get a hit. But he used a lot of elixir, so I can set up my lava hound um, offensive. He might have the hunter to counter all of it, but I do have fireball and zap to like instantly get rid of it. Hopefully, we can go in with balloon now, right behind. We're gonna fireball this right away. It doesn't hit the hunter, but that's fine. That hunter was not in a placement where it can deal damage against the balloon. The fireball nerf kind of lets my um, my balloon lock on anyways. And I'm going to set up the tombstone just in case he starts another attack here with his world giant. I'm going to do a mega minion in the back, and hopefully he will commit some more stuff here. I'm going to go minions. I'm going to push Lava Hound in the same lane, just to kind of pressure. At this point, if he doesn't do anything soon, he's going to be in big trouble. We're going to Fireball and hit both the Skeleton Dragon and the Hunter. We're going to zap this to kill the Hunter, hopefully. And that does kill the Hunter indeed. I'm going to go Barbarians to kind of just pressure, because offensive is the best offensive, the best defense at this point. There's not really too much this guy can do. I'm going to put the Tombstone right here. Um, Run for the Royal Giant and the um, Fisherman. We're going to zap on those Skeleton Dragons. And there's a good game. We played that pretty well. Um, I knew when to go in for offense when he overcommitted on one of his pushes with Royal Giant. And there we go, an easy win. We are at officially three wins and zero losses. That is pretty nice here. Um, that's it for now. I'm going to come back and record some more later. Alright, I'm back, everyone. I'm kind of in the mood to play some classic decks again, so let's get into the next game. Uh, we're playing Golem Beatdown again, so if all the games I've played are in this video, it's, you'll kind of be used to seeing this. Um, Baby Dragon in the back to start out. He's a Sparky. I don't know if I like my hand to face against Sparky. I feel like 
So I've actually had this exact same matchup earlier. We're gonna go Lumberjack here. We're gonna zap right at the end. Right when the Sparky crosses the bridge and kill both that. So we're not looking too bad right now. Um, that Lumberjack's gonna get a hit. Let's see if we can activate this King Tower here. So that was a pretty good activation. Um, and also signals us some from damage. So if you guys ever see an Ewa's bad stuff like that, you can go ahead and tornado it to that spot to activate your King Tower. Um, I'm gonna go with Golem here. We might have to go and defend this. Um, this Golem Brute, because I don't want to get too much damage. Let's lighten the Sparky. I think it's going to get a hit actually, but it's fine. That Golem wasn't working with that far, anyways. I probably should have had a lightning ready earlier. Um, let's go with Lumberjack here. He has to defend us, it's going to get a lot of damage. I'll be ready to zap this if he does anything, but I think the tower will take that out. Alright. So baby dragon in this and this. Hopefully it doesn't get any hits or make it one. That's fine. Okay. So going in the back. Uh, I didn't have too many good cards, so um in my hand. No wish to defend after the goblin the spear goblin's lock onto the golem. Let's get my lightning ready early this time, so let's go lightning now. Let's zap it again. Okay, now at least it will die to the golem when the golem breaks. But that didn't really get me anywhere. Um, I need to nail this all back and then mega minion here. It actually didn't work out too well for me, but it's fine. I don't really like this matchup. Um, Sparky versus golem, but we gotta kinda go in here. Hopefully he doesn't go in too aggressively. Um, we're just lightning this and then lumberjack. Hopefully they good. Okay, that actually is not good. We're gonna leave that all alone and go in here with this push. I think we should be pretty free to win this game as long as I zap this sparky. I made that into the King Tower. And he's dead. Good game. Why does every game when he's going seem to be so close? That one was not as close as it left, but GG for that. Okay, you get a common trade token. Pretty nice. Um, that's a W. Let's go into the next battle. I'm feeling pretty confident about my space so far. I'm 4 and 0. I mean, this is not like the hardest challenge in the world but it feels pretty nice to be a four and zero. Um we've got E Giant which in my opinion is not really a classic not really a classic deck. Um he spends eight Alexa I spend four so no he spends eight Alexa I spend six so I'm fine there actually. Um I'm actually plus one even though I did something weird which is um use lightning on battle ram. Let's pull those minions away. Um, I don't know if that was really the smartest play, but whatever. Uh, we should be about even right here. Let's activate our King Tower again with the e -Wiz here. It's actually, like, I don't know why, but this actually seems to work perfectly every time when I do that. And you guys should try that out too. The King Tower activation with e -Wiz. Let's go E-Giant in the back. Um, we're actually going to go Gollinger right here to defend that. Um, this is going to be a decent defense here. Um, I didn't want that to get too much damage. She spent a ton of elixir on that. He spent like six more elixir than needed to. So I'm kind of set up to make an attack with this E Giant here. Let's go in with Inferno Dragon here. Um, so support the E Giant if he puts any tanks. I knew he was going to put the P.E.K.K.A. anyways. 
The P.E.K.K.A. will kind of tear down that E-Giant, but the Inferno Dragon's still alive. And if he puts anything down, we should be fine. Um, let's find, um... Let's hope another witch here to get a little bit of value. Um... So we got one pig going down there. Not the best, honestly. But we're still looking good here. Another witch is going to go down to the Dark Prince. If I can just get my Prince to charge and his to not... Okay, his Prince does charge first. But he poisons my... Um... Dark Prince and zaps it, which is not the best way. I'm not sure how this guy is, like... Thinking in terms of the decisions he's making. He does have a kind of a counter deck to me. Um, with his... Okay, so let's get my Gallinger out here. And turn this away. I don't know how good this is going to work, but... That didn't work too well, it's fine. Um... If anything goes wrong, I can just lightning. Hopefully put something else here. He... Okay, he does, but too late. Let's do defensive E Giant to take all this out. It actually worked really well. Let's go in with Gallinger in the back here. And an Inferno Dragon. Tornado back, all that. Again, that didn't do too much with the tornado, but it's fine. It kind of let my mother witch get a lot of value there and i think the the pigs are gonna take out the tower she didn't see them often so gg again we are five and zero here five and oh let's open the banner box that we just got hopefully it's something good okay um we got the money miner decent decent not bad let's go into the next game five and zero Let's see if we can get an 8 0 sweep here. You got pigs on prey. This looks a lot like this is scut this looks a lot like a fireball bait, I mean. Um sort of deck. So let's set up um Let's just wait until it makes the first play. We can't put Golan Cage here, because it will make the uh E Giant travel the fart for this distance possible. Um no Zappies here. I didn't really want the Dark tends to get too much value there. And it only gets one zappy. Let's go in here. I think that um Barbara is gonna tear up everything. Unfortunately the Rora Coots I mean the bomber does live. We put down Rora Coots though. It gets a ton of value, but it's fine uh, because Rora Coots are just so tanky. If he doesn't do anything, that's gonna get a lot of damage. Um he can put that down, but yeah, he had to put something else, which is gonna... We didn't even do that much anyways. And my Roar Coots are gonna lock on a lot. It'd have been nice if the bomber just died. But still, I'm happy with the amount of damage we got here. I'm gonna put Fly Machine in the back. Hopefully that Inferno Dragon crosses the bridge so our tower can play it. If not, it's fine. We're gonna distract with... Um, Inferno Dragon. I actually didn't, uh, remember... He had Dark Pins. I actually did remember he had Dark Pins, but didn't think he placed it right there. We are looking fine here. I'm... I'm okay with if those pigs get a little bit of value. Hopefully the, um... Okay, so the flying machine does lock on to the Mother Witch. This is pretty cool. It also dies. Okay, so that's nice. Um, hopefully this Inferno Dragon can die to a Tower and Mother Witch. So all our cards pretty much got really nice value there. Let's put our Royal Creeps in the back since I think we're a little bit ahead of Elixir. And it, there's no harm in really doing that. It just clogs up their lanes so badly. So we know this guy's using the e giant deck that I was using last game. Let's put Gullen Cage right here in this placement to make the e giant walk the furthest. He does lightning it, but I don't think that was the best lightning value. We're gonna go Zappies here. Fireball this Mother Witch so it doesn't get too much value. And then we're gonna go in. Okay, so he actually is spamming a lot of cards now, which is a little bit scary. We're gonna go Goblin Cage right here, and in in the end, he's not gonna get too much damage there. If you look on the right side, our, we got his tower pretty low on that side too, so we're gonna split Royal Hogs, two on each lane. We need to try to fireball both of those, if we can. Um, he's gonna completely ignore the right, his left side, 
And that's going to be a good game. GG's. And yeah, he just can't really do anything in the last few seconds. So it was a good try by him. Uh, really nice game right there. And E Giant get wrecked. We get 4,000 go for that. Let's go into the next two games. I just want to get this challenge over with at this point. Pekka Ram. I should be able to win this game since Pekka Ram is the main deck I play. Except I play with Van Rider. Um, it does have a lot of bad matchups in this current matter, but it's fine. I'm going to Dark Pants and Electro Wizard here to take care of each lane. That uh, is me using 3 extra elixir, but he does have to defend that. And so hopefully that was not too much of an overcommitment. He spends 7 elixir on that. Um, I'm going to split 2 minions on this side, 2 minions on that side. 1 minion on the right side, I mean. They actually don't go the direction I want, but it's fine. We're going to go Battle Ram right here and Bandit. Um, hopefully the, yeah, the Bandit doesn't dash, but... Because I place it too close. That's my bad, 100%. But I just needed to kill the Mother Witch and we're good. Hopefully the Bandit also dashes. It does get the dash. So not too bad by me. Um, I think I'm going to go and ahead and zap this flying machine right as it crosses the bridge. So I only can get one hit there. And we're looking pretty good. We have a 1,000 damage lead on this guy. Um, we're going to go E was in the back. Since I want to save my Dark Prince for Splashing. I don't want to overcommit with my P.E.K.K.A. either. Um, let's see what he does to answer that. He puts the Goblin Cage. I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, we're going to go ahead and poison this. Since we don't have too many other plays to go with right now. Um, we're going to hopefully be able to ignore that. I might get one hit actually. No, it's not going to get any hits here. And we're going to go Dark Prince right in the middle. This is how you defend Rare Recruits. Um, yeah, not a single hit in the tower. All of them go straight to the middle. And those cards have enough splash damage that I could do with them. He doesn't have... Okay, he does have Zappies, which is a good counter. But he doesn't have the Gullen Cage anymore. Um, the Battle Room does get a full charge. And we are looking pretty nice here. We're going to ignore the right side completely. Uh, it's only going to do a couple hundred damage. And we're going to poison this. All of this. We're going to Minions and Bandit on this side. Um, we're not looking too bad here. The Fireball is going to get a ton of value, which isn't that good for us. But we're still looking like we're controlling the game a bit. We have to be careful for some of his pushes. Um, since he did. Okay, guys, before I go any further, I just want to remind you that, um, Pekka versus Fireball Bay is a really bad matchup. So you don't want to get this matchup at all. It's almost rigged at this point. Um, we did use a lot of elixir there. We want to save up for his pig's push. Um, he might split up, but he, he kind of has to go the same line. So we can go P.E.K.K.A. here, um, and then we're going to um, go e -Wiz, so everything dies in one hit. No, actually, you don't need to since the P.E.K.K.A. is OP and almost one shots all the pigs. And we're looking good. We just beat a hard counter here, which is, which is, um, Fibra Bait, and good game for that. Good game. We got a hundred banner tokens here, and that means I can open another banner box. Hopefully, I can get. I'd like to get the um probably this lava one. Like the lava and water ones look pretty cool. Or also any of the um extremely rare frames. I need some of those. So this one, I'm, I don't really like this one banner one too much, but almost any other one I'd I'd like. Let's see what I can get. Oh, actually, that one, I, I should have said that one. I didn't really want to. I didn't really want that frame. Um, but it's fine. It's fine. It's just the luck of the draw. Anyways, we're 7-1. Let's finish strong. We're only one game away to get the 8-0 wins. And let's do that right now. Let's get the last win. We just need to finish strong here. So we got Sparky and Goblin Giant, which I'm not actually used to at all. This is one of my least... This is, this is, this, this is one of the decks I'm least familiar with right here. Um... I'm kind of just going to wait for him to make the first play. Um, and I'm actually going to go Mega Minion in the back since I think it's the least um, threatening play for both of us. Like, it's not going to hurt him too much, and it's not going to hurt me too much. Because I'm saving the cards that can deal with the widest range of troops. Um, we're going to... Okay, so he fireballs the Gallon Cage. Not a bad play. 
So, um, I'm not sure exactly sure what deck this guy's using. It might be some sort of, um, Royal Hogs deck. Um, I should know this. Yeah, I'm still not really sure what this deck is, to be honest. Um, I don't know what it's Hunter and Slim Dragons, because no deck really uses that, uses that. But, okay. I should have known this is going to be Royal Giant, but you really don't see too many Royal Giant, um, Skeleton Dragon decks here. Um, lately. That was a bad Fisherman. It lets the Dark Prince get two, almost three hits on the tower. And we're going to put Goblin Cage right here. We're going to Lightning all of this jazz right here. That's super good value. And the, the Hero Spirit is going to be pretty good, but I think it's all going to die. The Royal Giant's going to die before it gets a hit. Perfect defense there. Um, we're going to ignore all this stuff he put. I think we had a positive trade here. If we just go Giant Snowball, we're fine. So we're gonna go Giant Snowball now. Um, a little bit, a little bit late, and the Skeleton Dragons do get two hits. So my bad. Um, I should have sent that Snowball a little earlier. But let's go uh, Gallon Giant in the back. <clears throat> and we're gonna go Spark. Okay, so this guy is going really aggro right here. We're gonna go Dark Prince Mega Minion. Um, so now he's gonna kind of have to defend both of these sides. I don't know how he's gonna do this so well. He might end up putting skeletons around the Sparky. So I'm gonna go get ready for anything he spins on the Sparky here. Um, I think he made a mistake going um, in with the Royal Giant there because it created double lane pressure. And now if he wanted to, we could probably go for the um, go for the two crown. Let's just go for the two count. Offense is the best defense, and it's kind of... So once again, his Fisherman brings my Gong Giant right to the tower. And I say once again, it did it to the Dark Prince earlier. And this is just a really easy game for me. We're going to go Lightning on our own tower. This is kind of chill. And we can just wait this game out. e on top of that. And Z Okay, the Royal Giant gets one hit, but who cares? Good game. And there we go guys, 8-0 in this challenge. Let's get the screenshot after my masteries go away. Very epic, 8-0. And let's open this final chest too. Uh, it's going to be 4,500 gold, which is really nice. Thank you guys for watching, we just got 8-0 and we completed the classic deck challenge. I know this challenge is not the hardest, but it's pretty cool that I went with zero losses here. Um, yeah, and so if you guys watch my videos, you can learn some, some of those tips and try to use them in your games. Hopefully you do well. Uh, thank you again for watching and peace.